Are you having symptoms of high B12? Maybe you're having anxiety, headaches, heart palpitations, and other symptoms that you think are related to high B12 levels. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at the symptoms associated with taking B12 and why I think high B12 symptoms are probably a reflection of some other process going on in your body. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, lab tests, hormones, just trying to get a better understanding of what's going on with your health, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at symptoms of high B12. So the thing is, high B12 levels should not actually cause symptoms. However, there are two things to note about this question or concern of high B12 levels and symptoms. The first is vitamin B12 supplementation, whether it's an injection, taking by mouth or under the tongue, can cause side effects. It's not very common, but it can happen. This can be symptoms like anxiety, heart palpitations, headaches, etc. These symptoms can occur even when you take a small dose of vitamin B12. So it's typically not from high B12 levels, but something intrinsic with how that person is processing the vitamin B12. And sometimes it could be the type of B12 too. It's also true that a small dose is less likely to cause these side effects, but it's really not the high serum blood levels that's causing these side effects with B12. And we know that because if we change to a different form, the person doesn't seem to have the same side effects. The other thing is that high B12 levels in and of themselves do not cause symptoms typically. However, high B12 blood levels can be a sign of some other problem going on. Just to be clear, a high level of B12 in your blood does not tell us that you have a problem, but it may be an indicator of a problem. What problem might that be? Well, there's a lot of possibilities, one being mast cell activation syndrome, which can cause a wide array of different symptoms, including anxiety, heart palpitations, headaches, hives, skin rash, et cetera. B12 side effects are also more common in people with mast cell activation syndrome. So symptoms of high B12 may be a reflection of something else going on in your body, and if you have high B12 levels and you're having certain symptoms going on, maybe it has more to do with something internally going on and not the B12 itself. So if you have these symptoms going on and you're thinking that it's the B12 causing the symptoms, you may be looking in the wrong place. So how did I do? Does that give you a better understanding of the symptoms of high B12 and what some other relationships are between those symptoms and other possible things going on? Hopefully it did. If not, you have a follow-up question or some clarification that's needed, drop that in the comment section. I'm more than happy to try and answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.